Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Might and Magic. So, last time we got the head of Medusa and returned it to Lord Haker. He also wanted a Wyvern Eye, which we've already killed and we gave it to him. So now he wants us to go and give him a Dragon's Tooth. And I think I know where that actually is. Because in my quest of trying to find good mobs to grind on, um, I went back to, uh, to A2. And if you remember... Over in A2, what we had to do here was we actually went to the Pirate's Cove. We went to the Pirate's Cove over here and found the treasure from the treasure map that uh, the Hermit gave us, remember? And so we did that, um, but where we're headed, actually, this encounter right here. And I've been doing it occasionally. Uh, it seems to be a fight that goes kind of well, uh, but sometimes it just doesn't go right. So I've, I've rested up. I've cast all our protection spells, and uh, before we get into that, let me show the, the actual map of where it looks like where we are. So as you can see here, um, we're actually in the Valley of Fire right now. So I think that there's a volcano above us, um, but we're probably right down here or something, maybe in Dragon Pass. Yeah, that's probably where we're fighting it is, is right here. So that's kind of cool just to see where in the map that is. Uh, but anyways, let's get on with it. All right, so Red Dragon, Militiamen's, and some Whites. Every time I fight this encounter, or I have in the past, the mobs that it comes with are very randomized. So I don't know if, uh, you know, if we can actually win this, because I've never really fought them with Militiamen and Whites, but we'll give it a good shot. So let's go ahead and shoot the Red Dragon. Yeah, 44 points is pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and cast 3-2, uh, starting with the Red Dragon. So, yeah, the Red Dragon is kind of uh, resistant. That's okay. Ferris, 11 points. That's a good strike. Rugtar attack, miss. Warlord Mal, nice. And he goes down. So I think it's good that we brought down the biggest target first. And so now we can just kind of weather the storm a little bit from all the mobs. Um, I'm going to cast 5-1 because we're outside and we should be able to do lots of damage to most of them. Sylvanas, go ahead and uh, shoot one of them. And Kurgan, go ahead and cast your lightning bolt. Bring down some whites. And I think we can control A through the rest of them. So that wasn't too bad, actually. That was that was actually, yep. The dragon's body disappears except for a shiny tooth. Great. We're going to search. And uh, yeah, it didn't give us too much gold, but it, it did give us some other items. Sometimes I get good items. Most of the times I don't. Wyverns seem to drop uh, a little bit better items, I will say. So let's go back to B1 and go to Castle Blackridge South. All right, traveling down and talk to him. I mean, I, I do wonder what the what the next quest is going to be. Maybe it's another mob. All right, plus 8,000 experience. That's awesome. Okay, your services are needed. Yes, bring me the Ring of Alcrim. I have no idea where to go with this. Uh, so... Um, I think before doing this quest, there are some other things that I would uh, like to show as well in my questing of kind of grinding around. So let's go to B2, which is south of here, so no problem. And uh, there is, I think, a, let's see. Yeah, there, there's a quest over here in the ice. So if I show you the map, you can kind of see that, you know, we, we came... From the, from the north, B1, where the castle was, we went south here. And so in the real map, in the real map, we're in B2. And you can kind of see that there's something called the New Glacier here. So I think there's some quest down here, just from the, the icons on the real map, that we need to go investigate. So let's do that now. I, I, I hope it won't kill us, but... You know, who knows, right? It seems to be fairly dangerous when we try to do new stuff. Um, we have taken some damage. So before we go into that square, let's just make sure that uh, we don't end up getting killed. So I'm going to rest and then cast magic. And uh, yeah, so the icon's name is IP, but I'm not sure what that could be. It's not definitely not an IP address or something. So let's try on a throne adorned with precious gems, the Ice Princess speaks, conqueror of worlds, maker of dreams, the greatest force of all, yet elusive it seems. 
Okay, so this is a riddle. Um, so yeah, I'll give you guys maybe uh, a few seconds or so to, to think it up. So if, you, if you'd like, please pause the video. Um, I'll give just, you know, not a few seconds, but maybe wait 30 or so. So uh, yeah, just think about the, the riddle. I'm, I don't know the answer either. So I'm thinking about the riddle, and uh, sorry if, if this is going to take some time, but I'd like to try and think through the riddle myself. Um, so the greatest force of all, it almost seems like it would be sunlight or something, right? Uh, because conqueror of worlds, um, how would that fit like with sunlight or something like that or the sun? yet elusive it seems, and see that kind of goes with the light, maker of dreams though, what would be making dreams? All right, so I went and thought about it a little bit more, and uh, I think my final guess here is something is kind of cliche, but my guess of this riddle would be time, um, which it doesn't make sense why an ice princess would be asking that. I mean, so I thought it would be sunlight or maybe sleep, but sleep and sunlight don't really go along with being like elusive or conqueror of conqueror of worlds. Um, I thought about maybe like magic or something, but how does magic exactly make like how is magic elusive? It doesn't seem like it's elusive, and so I was like, well, time, you know, time is maker of dreams, the greatest force of all. You could you could argue that the greatest force of all is time. Uh, time is elusive to lots of people and uh, saying that time is the conqueror of worlds I mean yeah nothing lasts forever and that's the nature of time so uh, let's see what the actual answer is oh no <laughs> the answer is love <laughs> that's too funny I would never have thought that the, the the corny answer of love would be that um i mean yeah i i guess so you know love it, it all fits there so sure all right i'll type in love and it's correct and uh let's see search you find two four diamond key so hey remember i think there was like a diamond gate somewhere that we we saw and we'll have to go back and uh somewhere and, and 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 use this diamond key probably on that we still haven't gotten the silver key so while we're here let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go fly to I think B1 actually and uh, now that we have teleport it should be pretty easy to get to so uh, looking on the map right here you can see we're here the, the silver key I think is gonna be right here and uh, we could just teleport over a few blocks. And that could save us some encounters and whatnot. So let's go west uh, three. Okay, and bink, we're right there. So let's go north and we'll search. And hey, there's the silver key, so cool. Uh, so we've done that, we, we beat the red dragon. Um, Lord Hacker wants us to do something else. I'm not sure exactly where to go for that, so let's just go for now. Let's go back to Sorpagol and save our game because we've done quite a lot of stuff and found a lot of things. And uh, next time, I will look up how to do the Akram quest. I'm not, I'm not sure if we can do it, but we'll give it a shot. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.